Well, happy Friday, everybody. It's the end of the week. I've kind of been uh, messed up on my days from having Monday off. And then uh, you guys never had a gout in your foot. I had it when I was in the Army. And ever since then, I've been really catching about two, three times a year. Normally, because I eat a lot of seafood, you know. Uh, well, anyhow, yeah, my foot's been killing me for like two days, so... I've actually stayed away from uh, coming online and a lot of stuff just because of it. Because it's like, I don't know if you know, it's like having pins and needles in your in your joints in your foot. It's it's horrible, horrible. So get a little bit better. Been taking some ibuprofen stuff. Um, I will be in the Monster Den tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna let the people choose if we do baseball or football. But other than that, I'm gonna show you guys a little mail day from this week. Nothing really crazy into it. Well, kind of, but nothing that you would think it would be like mega crazy, I guess. I uh, just got a BGS order pushed out 10 day, which is supposed to be like three months. Um, trying to think. I got product coming in today. If anybody wants personal boxes, always just ask me what I have, or if I come live, you guys can grab them as well, too. So these are all from Blake's, actually. And I meant to separate these. Okay. So we'll start off first. This is from GV, uh, GV Sports Cards or GV Cards. I forget how he says his name. Uh, he has a lot of soccer. He's in card vision. Really good guy. I end up winning uh, PSG, which is Paris Saint uh, Germain, uh, in a in a Raz. So took a chance. So we got two nice Mbappe. These will be going off to PSA eventually down the road. Another Mbappe, top finest phenoms. This uh, Sarabia Auto Blue out of 150 and a Marquinos uh, Purple out of 250. I'm just going to be sending these off to consignment. Uh, let's see here. Oh, before I forget, guys, go back to the video for the BST Sports Cards website. Jeremy has responded in there. So if you guys have questions and stuff, Feel free to hit up. I'm going to put a link in my description, too, that goes to their YouTube channel. And it has videos showing you all this stuff on there. A lot of questions and stuff, like formats, all this. Go on there, check it out. I think it's really, really good. That's a lot of thought just and, and dedication on that website. I know from trying to build one over the years. Um, just with the coding, how much it costs, and stuff like that. Now, I will uh, get uh, early access tomorrow, he told me, onto it, so I can start playing around, putting cards on there, and uh, see, see how it all goes, you know. So I'm very thankful for that opportunity and everything, but uh, um, I'll probably be on it most of the weekend tomorrow and uh, mostly on Sunday. Uh, trying to get stuff loaded up, seeing how it all works across the board. Right now, he's not doing any international sales, so everything's in the United States and stuff like that. Okay, let's get back to this. Check out the link to their YouTube page. Subscribe to them. Subscribe. Two more we got. I had the Raiders. This is from uh, Big Time Shimmy Breaks. It's a Facebook group, uh, uh, group breaker. If you're part of the Monster Den, uh, Hit me up or something, and I'll give you the address. You guys want to come over? He breaks maybe once, twice a week at the most. But this is a football mixer. I took the Raiders. Uh, got two canvas rugs. Those will go off to get graded. And then this one here is really cool. Um, I was going to grade it, but there's a little bit of white down there for the red hot rookies. I'm going to look it up, see what it goes for. Uh, it'll either go on the website or not to consign. If it's some crazy high price, I'm just sending to consignment, guys. Uh, because you guys know for a fact, I'll show you. I just seen this too. And I'm always very transparent on a lot of cards. See the little white there? A little white there. So. It's not that I'm a PSA snob or nothing either. It's just I like to let people know you're not going to get a 10 out of that. That's 9 high high end right there. Got a Max Crosby green mosaic. This was out of Elite. Isaiah Timmons. Uh, I don't know who else was on this. Farrell, Watson, and Dawkins. It's not numbered. 
Got a couple Henry rugs, the rookies. I'll put those in the stores to combine. There's an Elite Series rugs. Josh Jacobs from Lubinitz this year out of 299. And this is something vintage. I forgot they call it vintage player that was in Luminance. This is Howie Long. I know there's a couple Raiders dudes out there. So I will get stuff listed in the store tonight. That is my ultimate goal is to get that stuff done. And I got to start going through stuff for PSA. The rest of this stuff is from the Monster Den. We went bigger, went home with the Mariners. We did get a Vogelbach uh, auto. Not uh that was there. But another one for consignment. Kyle Lewis out of 99 looks pretty good. I'm thinking about actually grading this. Even though it's a thicker stock card, I believe it's either 59 or 70 pointer. So I'm going to take a look it over. Each row out of 275. So there's a possibility that Lewis will go out to get graded just to see if we can try to pull something out of it. But again, like the thicker stock cards, you guys all know, they're hard to grade. Was in my NT break. We didn't get no chargers, but I hit the pack a lot. So, A.J. Dillon, printing plate RPA. This is the 101. I thought they used to say what color plate this was on the back, but... Yeah, I, I think I'm going to be only tots that did the magenta and all that stuff. So, pretty cool to get a printing plate RPA, A.J. Dillon. And this here... I just love this patch. Jordan Love out of 10, man. Look at that disgustingness. Hey, nobody make fun of what it says either, Mexico, and then what's underneath it. Come on now. I know somebody's going to say something on to it. I've already had people, I posted this Instagram, started putting stuff on to it. Even the chat started to. There is one that was on eBay that had a lesser Somebody was asking 700 for it. I don't even know what it's worth. This here I'm probably going to hold on to. Unless somebody gives me some kind of crazy offer I can't say no to, what's the price in mind? Um, but I think down the road, I know a lot of people don't collect college and stuff like that. It's just a disgusting-looking patch. I can't even really uh, get over it much more. But I'll probably hold on to it until he takes over for Mr. Aaron Rodgers out there and maybe find a Jordan Love collector that time frame. It's like, i got to have this one. So, pretty cool overall for uh, some mail day stuff. Um, I will get some stuff put in the store this evening. It should be in by, like, before uh, Red and Gold goes live. So, probably by 10 p.m. Eastern. It's not much. Maybe about 20, 25 cards. Everything's been shipped out. If you bought anything in the store this week. Um, I'm going to be, like I said, BST uh, Sport Cards. This website is going to be up for... Uh, we opened like a soft open this weekend where he's only letting so many people into it to, you know, see what we find, stuff like that there that, uh, like bugs or issues and stuff like that. So I do appreciate him giving me the early access to it. Uh, I believe the hard date is next Sunday, the 25th. It'll go live for everybody else for buying and selling onto it. But I was trying to think of the day. I knew it was the 25th. I'm like, add in my head. Okay, today's the 16th. Saturday's the 17th. But um, take a look at it. Um, those videos. I'm going to put the link in my description to the YouTube page. He's even doing some giveaways with the grand opening and everything onto it. I believe you probably have to follow him on, like, either check the Facebook group page out. He has built the Instagram or Twitter. I mean, I know he gave away two... Big uh, Lubob lots already and stuff like that there. But uh, check it out. That way you guys, I know we a couple people I've talked to had questions on. to the. And I, I'm not affiliated with the, the website at all, guys. I'm not. Uh, I can only answer what I see uh, on, like, the videos and stuff like that there. Or what when we were uh, going back and forth with messages yesterday. But he did drop an email address in there as well, too. So if you guys could either post on that video where you'll see the conversation going on between me and him. Or you could send an email out and have you watch the videos in case you have more questions on to it. Uh, very quick in responding back last night, going back and forth. 
So very good customer service. I'm, I'm really impressed with the website because I just know what it takes to go into it. And there's stuff about the Wayfair Act because they are going to have to charge uh, sales tax as well, too. And that's just any, any website that is a marketplace has to deal with the Wayfair Act. And if you're not too sure what that is, I believe it started off as like Wayfair versus Nebraska or something like that. It was one of the states. But basically, if you are a marketplace selling to all the states, you have to charge sales tax. For me, uh, independently, I have to meet different thresholds to require sales tax licenses and stuff like that there. Maybe what I'll do one day, I think I had a while back a video on the Wayfair Act, but I think I might double tap on to because a lot of people are starting to uh, have a lot of questions on to that. But if you guys go on there, just imagine they're going to collect sales tax. They're going to remit it just like eBay. But the catch is you only have to pay a membership fee. There's no um, uh, final values, insertion fees, and all that other stuff. And the memberships are really, really greatly priced. All right. I've hit over 10 minutes in this video, so I'm going to cut it here. I hope you guys have a good weekend. Check me out in the Monster Den tomorrow. I will post the video of the break, as always, on the channel. And I'll try to come live. Also, real quick, I have... Uh, was about two weeks left in the month. So everybody just joined the membership on the YouTube channel. If you go down, right down below here, it's going to say join. You're going to get three categories. But I had to pick three. So I'm just saying, if you want to get part of the give monthly uh, membership giveaways, go down there. It's like 2 bucks a month, $1.99. And the, this being the first month, I'm doing something a little bit different. I don't want to say what it is. But uh, you'll be surprised. I'll probably do the first couple um giveaways just to show everybody what's going on with it uh on the on just for public views and after that i'm probably going to start just letting the members see it only type deal but other than that i do appreciate the support everybody i will catch you sometime this week and i'll probably pop a lot maybe for a little bit maybe sunday after i played around with that uh bst website and everything like that all right take care have a good one everybody